Did you know that the Bible mentions a few individuals who never experienced the death? While some might immediately think of Jesus, Christian belief holds that Jesus did die before his resurrection. Surprisingly, there are three people in Scripture who never face death, and their stories are both awe-inspiring and mysterious. One was taken up in a fiery chariot, another simply walked with God, and the third remains one of the greatest mysteries in Scripture. Who were they? Stick around to uncover the truth behind these extraordinary stories. 1. Enoch, the man who walked with God The first person in the Bible who is said to have never died is Enoch. He lived during a time, shortly after creation, long before the flood, and was a descendant of Adam and Eve's third son, Seth. Enoch also holds the title of Noah's great-grandfather, placing him at a crucial point in biblical history. Genesis 5, 21-24 tells us that Enoch lived for 365 years, a relatively short life compared to others in his time, where people lived for several centuries. But what makes Enoch's story truly unique is not his age, but the manner in which his life ended. The Bible says, Enoch walked with God, then he was no more, because God took him away. This statement suggests that Enoch did not experience death in the typical sense. Instead, his close relationship with God led to him being taken directly into heaven. It's a short but profound statement, God took him, indicating a divine intervention that bypassed death altogether. In the New Testament, Enoch's story continues to be highlighted. In Hebrews 11.5, we read, By faith, Enoch was taken from this life so that he did not experience death. He lived a life of such faith and devotion that God saw fit to spare him from the inevitable fate that all humans face, death. It's an extraordinary example of the power of faith and walking closely with God. Moreover, Enoch is known not just for his faith, but for his prophetic gift. In Jude 1, 14 to 15 Enoch is quoted as prophesying about the second coming of Christ. See, the Lord is coming with thousands upon thousands of his holy ones to judge everyone. His life was a foreshadowing of the eventual return of Jesus. 2. Elijah, the prophet taken by a whirlwind. The second person in the Bible who never experienced death is the prophet Elijah. Elijah lived during a tumultuous time in Israel's history when King Ahab and Queen Jezebel were promoting the worship of Baal, a pagan god. Elijah stood firm in his devotion to the one true God, and he performed several miracles to demonstrate God's power. One of the most famous of these miracles is when Elijah called down a fire from heaven on Mount Carmel to prove that Yahweh, not Baal, was the true God, 1 Kings 18. This act not only solidified Elijah's role as a prophet, but also highlighted his extraordinary faith. But Elijah's departure from this world is perhaps even more dramatic than the miracles he performed. In 2 Kings 2.11, we are told that as Elijah was walking with his apprentice Elisha, a fiery chariot pulled by horses appeared in the sky. In an instant, Elijah was swept up by the chariot in a whirlwind and taken to heaven. Like Enoch, Elijah never experienced death, but was taken by God directly into his presence. This event left Elisha in awe, and the legacy of Elijah's dramatic exit lives on. In fact, Elijah is one of the most revered prophets in Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. His return is prophesied in Malachi 4, 5 through 6, where it is said that Elijah will come again before the great and dreadful day of the Lord, which Christians interpret as the return of Christ. Elijah's ascension is a vivid reminder that God is not bound by the rules of nature or death. For those who serve him faithfully, he has the power to do the extraordinary. 3. Melchizedek, the mysterious priest king, the third figure in the Bible who seems to have never experienced a death, is one of the most mysterious individuals in all of Scripture, Melchizedek. 
Unlike Enoch and Elijah, who have clear narratives surrounding their ascension to heaven, Melchizedek's story is shrouded in mystery. We first meet Melchizedek in Genesis 14 after Abraham's victory in a great battle. Melchizedek is described as both the king of Salem, which later became Jerusalem, and the priest of God Most High. He blesses Abraham and receives a tithe from him, showing his importance as a spiritual leader. But that's not the only remarkable thing about him. The book of Hebrews, particularly chapter 7, speaks extensively about Melchizedek. It describes him as having no father or mother, no genealogy, no beginning of days or end of life. This description has led many to believe that Melchizedek was a divine figure, possibly even an early appearance of Christ himself, known as a theophany. Hebrews 7.3 compares Melchizedek to the Son of God, highlighting his eternal priesthood. Because of the mysterious nature of Melchizedek, scholars and theologians have debated his true identity for centuries. Was he simply a man, a king-priest of ancient times, or was he something more? Some believe that Melchizedek's lack of genealogy and eternal priesthood symbolizes Jesus' eternal reign. After all, Hebrews 6.20 says that Jesus is a high priest forever in the order of Melchizedek. Regardless of how one interprets Melchizedek's identity, his story points to a larger truth, the eternal priesthood of Jesus Christ. Like Melchizedek, Jesus is both a king and a priest, and his priesthood will never end. Conclusion, a foreshadowing of Christ's eternal reign. While the stories of Enoch, Elijah, and Melchizedek are extraordinary, they ultimately point to the greater truth of God's power over life and death. Enoch and Elijah's direct ascension to heaven reminds us that God is sovereign over death, and Melchizedek's mysterious priesthood foreshadows the eternal reign of Jesus Christ. These three figures highlight the theme of God's control over the mortal and eternal realms, offering us a glimpse into the mystery of eternal life. Their stories are not just historical curiosities, they remind us of the promise of resurrection and eternal life through faith in Christ. As we reflect on these remarkable individuals, we are reminded that death is not the end for those who walk with God. Just as Enoch walked with God and was taken, so too can we walk with him, trusting in his eternal plan for our lives. Thanks for watching, please subscribe the channel so that you don't miss out on my future videos.